Okay guys, welcome to today's lesson. Today we're covering statics, problem 13 from chapter 3. So number 13 says, the tailgate of a car is supported by a hydraulic lift BC. If the lift exerts 125 pound force directly along a center line on the, on the ball and socket at B, determine the moment of the force about A. Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is draw my free bar diagram. We have point A, which is going to point B, connect to the point B, and we have point C as well, which is applying the force. So I'm going to draw my force acting at point B, which is going to be force from C to B, which is 125 pounds of force. Okay. Now there's a moment at point A being caused by this force. So we have a moment at point A being caused by this force, which means we need to draw a position vector from A to B where the force is being caused. This would be the position vector R from A to B. Okay. Good. So now we can write our equation. We have the moment about point A caused by the force at B would be moment at A equals the position vector R A B and then the cross product of that with the force going from C to B. Okay? So we need to find a few things here. We need to find our, our position vector from A to B and find our force from C to B. So our position vector from A to B look at the diagram closely Notice we go 20.5 inches to the right in the positive i-hat direction, positive x-axis. And we go down 4.3 inches in the negative j-hat direction. So we'd have positive 20.5 i-hat and then minus 4.38 in the j-hat direction. Good. Now to find our force vector from C to B, 125 pounds, we know the scalar value, 125 pounds. We need to find the position vector and the magnitude in order to find the vector form of this. So, we need to find the position vector of C to B. Looking at our diagram, going from C to B, we go to the right again, positive 17.2 inches. So it'll be positive 17.2 in the I hat direction. And we're going up. 7.62 inches in the j hat direction. So we're going positive 7.62 in the j hat direction. There is no k hat. This is all in a, it's all a 2D motion problem, 2D stack problem. So there's no k hat at all. Good. Now we can find the distance from C to B by using our magnitude formula, where we take the square root of the components, square and add together. So we'll square each component, add them together and find the magnitude, the distance, from C to B. Okay, so now going to our calculator, we have 17.2 squared plus 7.62 squared. We're going to take a square root of this number. We get a distance of 18.81, that's in inches. All right, good to know. Now we can find our tension, or sorry, our force, I should say, from C to B, the vector, vector components of it. Okay, so our force, C to B, is equal to our magnitude, our scalar form, which we know is 125 pounds of force. So write out the equation first. Force C to B over distance C to B times the position vector from C to B. So we know our scalar value right here, this tells us this is 125 pounds of force over our 18.81 inches distance and multiply this by our components of our position vector from C to B. So this would be 17.2 inches I hat plus 7.62 inches j hat the units for in the, the distance units inches will cancel out 
So both are just components of force. So this will be equal to now 125 divided by 18.81 multiplied by 17.2 will be 114.3 pounds of force in the i hat direction. And then we take our do the same thing for our k hat value. So we have 125 divided by 18.81 times 7.62. In the j-hat, we have positive 50.6 in the j-hat component. Good. Now we're ready. Pounds of force. Let's include our unit. Now we're ready to go ahead and do our cross product for our moment value. Make sure we can see this. We have 114.4 in I hat for force C to B and 50.6 pounds of force in the J hat. 6, 4, put that 4 and call that 4 as well in the J hat direction. Good. Now we can go back to our cross product and turn this into our matrix or determine our matrix and find this value. Okay, so moment about point A is equal to, now we do. The determinant. So we have our i hat. We have our r a b. Our position values here, and our force values here in this bottom row. Okay, so we have our individual components: i hat, j hat, k hat. And then we're going to so go ahead and plug them in. So we have 20.5 in the i hat. We have 114.3 for the pounds for the tension, the force from C to B. Good. Now for J hat, we have negative 4.38 for position and 50.6 for force. Our K hat values are zero. Again, this is a 2D problem. No third dimension included. The moment will be in the third dimension. It will be a K hat, but in forces and position vectors only in the I hat and J hat, X and Y directions. Good. Now we're going to repeat this. I hat, we're going to repeat this 20.5 and 114.3. And repeat the J hat as well, negative 4.38 and 50.6 for our force. Okay, now to work this out, we're going to do diagonals. We're going to draw diagonals and we're going to add up the ones going down to the right. We'll subtract the diagonals and multiply it together going up into up into the right or down to the left. Either way you want to think about it. So going in this direction, this would be a zero. So we're adding zero. Here, we're also adding zero. There's a zero in this one. This value is not a zero. So this would be 20.5 right here times. So to review, we have our position vector going from A to B. Here, given we have our force vector, we, we determine going from C to B. We find the cross product of these two vectors to find the moment about A. So in each column, we have our i hat, j hat, and k hat. We have our position, position vectors here in the middle row. We have our force vectors here in the bottom row. We go down to the right, multiplying 0, 0, add these up. So 20.5 times 50.6 is approximately 1038. We have Going up and to the right, we subtract 114 times negative 4.38. We're subtracting, which would make us add. So we have approximate value of 1538.7 pounds force inches or 128.2 foot pounds. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me in another Simple STEM Solution video. Be sure to like and subscribe. Also, if you'd like to support this channel or have particular questions you want answered, be sure to check out my Patreon community via the link in the description below.